In this country, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of a religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Basically, we have a wall between church and state. The government is not really supposed to pass laws that respect their religion and they're not supposed to stop people from practicing their religion. There are some things that Christianity has done in the past that has been pretty nasty. We seem to forget this. We seem to forget what Christianity was like just 60 years ago. Just 60 years ago, a lot of churches would have had the same feelings as Westboro Baptist Church. We forget this. We forget about Christian terrorism. The murder of George Tiller, Dr. George Tiller, in 2009. The Knoxville Unitarian Universalist Church shooting in 2008. The murder of Dr. John Britton, 1994. The Centennial Olympic Park bombing in 1996. The murder of Barnett Slepian by James Charles Cop in 1998. Planned Parenthood bombing, Brookline, Massachusetts, 1994. The suicide attack on the IRS building in Austin, Texas in 2010. The murder of Alan Berg, June 18th, 1984. Timothy McVeigh and the Oklahoma City bombing, 1995. How about the founding of the Ku Klux Klan and all of that terrorism? We seem to forget about this kind of stuff. Why? Because it's been overshadowed by Islamic terrorism. In Islamic countries, there is no separation of church and state. We continue to see these terrible things that are done in the name of Islam in these Islamic countries, in these Muslim countries. Again, think about if Pat Robertson was running this country and we didn't have a separation of church and state. Just imagine that. How about Fred Phelps? How about focus on the family? Imagine if our government wasn't secular. When people move to another country, they need to realize that the laws are going to be different. When people come from a country that is ruled by religion, they need to learn to integrate into the culture of the country they come to. They need to realize the laws are different. They need to accept that they cannot continue to do things as if the laws are the way that the country that they moved from were, are. If people want to live here, they should be trying to integrate at least into the laws of this country. They may not have to assimilate into our culture, at least not completely, but they at least need to accept that we have the laws we have and we're not going to change those laws for them, no matter how special they think their beliefs are, no matter how special they think their ideology is, no matter how special they think their philosophies are. They must follow our laws, and our laws are usually secular. We have a few leftovers from some laws that were passed for religious reasons, and that's a shame. But again, we just have to look back like 60 years to see how much religion was mixed in with our laws, 
how powerful religion was. We just have to look at McCarthyism, the fear of things that might take away our religion from this country. So we put in God we trust on the rest of our money. So we put under God in our pledge. How quickly we forget. So before you start to judge all Muslims based on the extremists that came to a country trying to follow the laws that were from the country they came from, and before we start judging all Muslims based on the countries that church and state are together, we need to think about what we were like just 60 years ago. Give it some thought. Thanks.